Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix error that is lost connection to game server or disconnected from server. So if you're receiving the error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. So first of all, try different region. You can go to battle.net and over here you can see this region icon, globe icon, click on it. And over here, if it is set to Americas, you can set it to Europe. Now launch the game and then check. If this is set to Europe, then you can switch to Americas and then check. You can even try Asia. So try to switch to different region and then you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to turn on or turn off VPN. So if you're not using VPN, you can try VPN. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. If you're already using VPN, then you can turn off VPN and then check. Next step is to run the game as an administrator. Now for this, you can go to the game installation folder, make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files. If, if you have the game on battle.net, you can click over here, go to show in explorer option and then open find the game exe file, make a right click on the game exe file, go to properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus, like if you have Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, then go to Windows security and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection, click on it, then click on allow an app through control folder access, click on yes to allow, click on add and allowed app, click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, go to the game installation folder, select this game exe file and then click on open. Again, click on add and allowed app, click on browse all apps. And if you find the launcher, you can even add the launcher over here. Now type in control panel in Windows search box, go to control panel, system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on allow, allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Change settings, allow another app, click on browse. Again, select the game exe file, click on open, click on add. In my case, the game is already added. Again, click on allow another app, click on browse, and then add this launcher as well and then click on open, click on add. In my case, I have already added the game. So once you add the game over here, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, then verify the game files for this. You can, if you have the game on Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab, and then click on verify integrative game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. If you have the game on battle.net, click over here and then click on scan and repair. After the scan and repair, launch the game and then check. Still you are receiving the error, then please follow the rest of the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to restart your PC. Do not ignore this step. Just restart your computer once and after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, restart Steam. So go to Steam, at the top click on Steam and then click on exit. Now once Steam is closed, now you can type in Steam in Windows search box, make a right click on Steam and then click on run as administrator. And while restarting Steam, if there is any update for the game, update the game. Now, still you're facing the problem. Next step is to verify the game files. Now, this is important. So make sure that you verify the game files. To verify the game files, go to Steam. On the top, click on library and then find the game in the list. Make a right click on the game and then select properties and then go to installed files tab and then click on verify integrative game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, now you can launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to make sure date, time, time zone and reason is correct on your computer. So on, now you can for this open Windows settings. Now go to go to time and language. Now go to date and time. And then over here you can see set time zone automatically. If this is on, if this is off, turn it on. If set time automatically is off, turn it on. Make sure both are on and then scroll down and then you will see sync now option. So click on sync now. If you see any error in red color, just click on sync now once again and then go to time and language once again and then go to language and region and make sure your country is selected over here. Select the right country and then check. Next step is to perform power cycle. To perform power cycle, first of all, shut down your computer. Now, once you shut down your computer, after you shut down your computer, unplug the power cable from the computer, then turn off the Wi-Fi router. 
then wait for a few seconds and then restart your Wi-Fi router. Plug in the power cable back to the computer and then start your computer and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to run these commands. These commands are provided in the video descriptions. Type in CMD in Windows search box. Make a right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now paste the command over here. So copy the command one by one. Paste it over here. Hit the enter key. Now copy the second command. Now paste it over here. Hit the enter key. And now run the third command. Paste it. Hit the enter key. Run this command. Paste it. Hit the enter key. And then run the last command. Paste it. Hit the enter key. Now you have to restart your computer. You restart is a must after this. And after the system restart, you can check. Now the next step is to use Google DNS server. Now for this open control panel. So type in control panel in Windows search box. Open control panel. Now go to network and internet. And over here you have to click on network and sharing center. Now over here you will see your Wi-Fi. So click on your Wi-Fi and then click on properties over here. Now over here select internet protocol version 4 TCP IV4 and then click on select this and then click on properties. Now once you click on property select the second option over here use the following DNS server addresses. Now over here type in 8888. So you, you have to type in 88. I have already in my case it, it's already typed in. So type in 8888 and then add for alternate DNS servers, type in 8844 and then put a check on validate settings upon exit and then click on OK. Close this and let this complete. Now close this, close it. Now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to switch to different network. So if you have any other network available, like you can, if you have any other network, you can switch to different network and once you're connected to different network, you can check. You can even switch to mobile hotspot. So you can turn on the data on your phone and then turn on the hotspot on your phone and then you can connect to your phone network over here. And once connected, now you can launch the game and then check. If you're using VPN, then close VPN and then check. Next tip is to use Ethernet connection. So if you have an Ethernet cable, you can connect the Ethernet cable to the Ethernet port of the computer. So if your computer has an Ethernet port, you can use Ethernet cable to connect and then check. Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. This is important. So go to Windows settings, go to Windows update and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed, now restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. So, so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.